Nothing will make a better impression on your boss than your ability to manage and lead yourself. If your boss has to constantly expend energy directing you, then you will be perceived as someone who drains time and energy. But if you manage and lead yourself well, then your boss will see you as someone who maximizes opportunities and leverages personal strengths. To become someone your boss turns to when the heat is on, manage and lead your emotions, your time, your energy, your thinking, your actions, and your personal life. If you can help lift the load, then you help your boss succeed. And when the boss succeeds, the organization succeeds. Lifting shows you're a team player. It also gets you noticed and increases your value and influence. Now, how do you lift your boss's load? First, do your job well. When you find a problem, provide a solution. Tell your bosses what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. Go the extra mile and do more than what is asked. The extra mile is never crowded. Also, stand in for your boss whenever you can. Few things elevate a person above his or her peers the way becoming a go-to player does. Everyone admires go-to players and looks to them when the heat is on. Now we all know who they are. Go-to players produce when the pressure cooker is on overdrive. They are the people who find a way to make things happen no matter what. If you adopt the positive tenacity of a go-to player and take every opportunity to make things happen, your boss will come to rely on you. Now, successful people do the things that unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. That's pretty simple, right? Few things gain the appreciation and respect of our bosses more quickly than someone with that whatever it takes attitude. That means taking the tough jobs. You learn resiliency and tenacity during the tough assignments, not the easy one. When the tough choices have to be made and the results are difficult to achieve, leaders are forged. That means that you will have to sacrifice some personal goals for the sake of others. You'll have to do something just because it matters, not because it'll get you noticed. You will have to come in early and stay late. You will come in on weekends, you will sacrifice, and you will share your boss's pain until the problem or issue is resolved. They won't forget it.